Hello. I've decided, uh, while I'm here doing videos, I've been meaning to do one that's kind of about um, what the sun sign really means. Like, what is what is a sun sign? And in my experience, so if, if others will have other experiences, I think they all add value. My experience is that the sun sign is not so much your personality. So if you've ever had a time when you've been like reading stuff about your sun sign, you're like, this doesn't really feel like me. Um, that is valid. And it's not because your sun sign is two things. One, it's the theme of your life. Um, and two, it is what you, it is who you will become. Um, not who you start out as. And so as you progressively uh, gain experiences in life and you are faced with the themes of each sun sign, then you will become that sun sign. So when you're, uh, I'm going to say about middle age, you probably go mostly, yeah, I'm a Capricorn or yeah, I'm a Virgo or yeah, I'm a Cancer or whatever your sun sign is. Um, and, and, and more progressively so after that. I don't want to make this too, video too long, but I might use it later for uh, an article. So I do want to include uh, kind of a, I'm going to say this is going to be oversimplified and very generalized, but just a basic uh, example of what a life theme could be for each sun sign. So let's start with Aries. Like your life theme is primarily going to be um, impulsiveness and, and a lot to do with emotions and business. And you are the emperor, so it's going to be a lot of learning to be a leader. Uh, Taurus, your life path is going to have a lot to do, your, you know, your theme is going to have to do a lot with mothers and materialism. Uh, and well, and being faced with moments when you have to stand your ground. That's the basis of it. Um, cancer. No, excuse me. Gemini. Your life theme is going to have to do with a lot of duplicity. Um, people who are two-faced, you having to decide to be authentic or not. Um, you're going to have a lot of uh, stop and start projects and things that you really have to learn to balance uh, what you invest in or don't. And you're going to have a lot of themes that have to do with social situations, not individual things. Cancer. Your life theme is going to have to do with emotional discipline, um, both inwardly and outwardly. And not just for you, but dealing with the emotions of other people. Um, that's going to be a pretty major theme for you. And also security. Um, which is mostly found within, which there's no irony because your sign is the crab. And oftentimes we mistake that our security is, you know, on the outside, but it's not. Your shell protects you just fine. Uh, but you're going to be tested with a lot of times where you're left out of your shell and you got to learn when to crawl back into it and when to let yourself pop out of it um, and, and be vulnerable. That's going to be a pretty big theme for you too, is learning to be vulnerable and be authentic in that. Um, Leo, yeah, Leo, uh, yours is going to be about individuality within groups, uh, both one to be a leader and one to be a follower and constantly being put in the spotlight, whether you want to or not. And I'm sure there's a large part of you that does appreciate it, but there's plenty of you that there's plenty of times that I'm sure that you wish that you were not in the spotlight, but you're going to be put in it. You are the sun. People are going to gravitate towards you, whether you like it or not. <laughs> uh, Virgo, your life path is going to have a lot to do with personal development, self-improvement, uh, learning to be selective about how you invest your time, and being a, du uh, being a duality. Uh, you are both the virgin and the prostitute, so you're going to have to learn how to sit and swim in those energies and likely... Uh, to deal with other people being in those two. Sorry, I'm trying to block the sun out of my eyes just a little bit. Um, but you're going to need to learn how to swim in that energy and also to be, to beautify your home and your, you know, your sacred spaces uh, because you are also ruled by Vesta along with Mercury. Um, Libra. You're going to have a lot, you're likely to have a big theme that has to do with relationships, uh, family and marriage and children and things of that nature, where you're often going to be put in the position of being the judge, jury, uh, peacekeeper and police. Um, 
and and in in more of an intellectual way too i mean you're ruled by venus so you have a lot of venusian energy that can be very emotional but you are an air sign and so you're really going to have to like you you don't have quite the empathic qualities that say a water sign would have and so you really like you got to learn to trust your intuition and to be willing to remember that the truth is always in the middle like you're constantly going to be put in situations where the people goodness sakes loud trucks see where you have to speak up <laughs> um you're going to be put in situations where the truth you know what appears on the outside is not necessarily the same as what's going on in the inside and you got to suss out the truth a lot and sometimes that requires being a little forceful usually argumentatively and other times it requires being quiet and just listening when no one listening to what no one else is um Scorpio, you're, you're going to be like cancer a lot. You're going to be challenged by a lot of emotional stuff. Uh, but really, it's going to be about embracing your darkness and, real, you know, being okay with being the one who is... You're going to have a lot of times that you are faced with uh, mysticism and sex and death and drugs and you name it. And times that really test your temper and test your mettle and test your ability to have faith in yourself and in spirit and in others in times when it does not seem like it, either others don't think you should or you question if you should. And your specific life path is going to have a lot to do with secrets. You gotta, you're going to have to learn to be comfortable with people around you keeping secrets and learn the difference between when to ferret out what that secret is about and when to just go, meh, everybody's got a secret or two because you've got the ability to know when people are keeping secrets. Um, and you can suss them out. Like, if you've got a life path of, of Scorpio or you've got any strong Scorpio placements, you can do that. So really try to figure out when you should and when you should just leave it be. Um, Sagittarius, yours is going, your life path as a sun sign is going to have a lot to do, uh, with traveling and spiritual pursuits and, um, being kind of a uncle slash father figure. And, and, and in a lot of ways being a leader of a group indirectly, I'm going to say. Aquarius, you're much more likely to be the figurehead of a group, whether you want to be or not, and you're more likely to be put in a lot of spiritual situations that um, have you test this, the balance between spirituality and science. And you're also going to likely be faced with having to do things mostly intellectually and having somewhat, you're going to have to learn to reconnect with your emotional side through spiritual pursuits rather than starting out with those qualities. Um, Capricorn, you're going to be going through a lot of delays. Saturn is unfortunately a fairly slow planet, um, and it's likely that you are going to be faced with so many different obstacles and karma from past lives and other people's karma. That's another big thing. You are the sign of karma and reaping what, you know, reaping what you sow and other people reaping what they sow. And so you, one, are likely to be the karmic teacher in a lot of ways it's kind of an unfortunate position to where um you might end up being that muscle or being that teacher that comes to that other people come to or that you end up in their lives and um the universe I, uses you either directly or indirectly to help them overcome karma and really it's up to you how you play that part um but you're going to play that part one way or another and then otherwise you're going to be one the one who's often left with a lot of responsibility more than you need to be um some people are going to see you as not needing them and so they'll abandon you or not uh, play their part because they know that you are capable of doing it on your own, um, which is unfortunate. And then they're going to think, well, that you don't have very many feelings, so it doesn't matter anyways, which is also unfortunate and also not true. In any case, get comfortable because if that's your life path, you know, it may not be how you feel emotionally or uh, be in, character, in alignment with your personality, but it is your life theme to go through a lot of those things and to be a evolved through it. Um, Aqu did I do Aquarius? I think I already, I think I skipped to Aquarius, sorry. Capricorns and Aquariuses. I guess I'll go right to uh, Pisces. 
gosh, I hope I'm not skipping Aquarius. Uh, Pisces, you are going to be faced with a lot of moments where you are lost in your imagination and your emotions and relationships and passion projects. You will probably be very artistic in one way or another um, and be faced with a lot of people who tell you that that is not valuable or that you shouldn't pursue it. And actually, you would have a superpower in that sense. So especially if you have more than just the sun in there, but you're going to be faced with a lot of that and probably a fair amount of other people who are also faced with the same thing. Um, you're also going to be put through a lot of situations where you need to put yourself first and really practice good self-care and self-love. All right, everybody, I don't want to make this video take too long because the long videos tend to not load very well. So please let me know if you would like to learn anything more in depth about sun signs and the life themes and how they affect us. Thanks so much and see you next time.